Hi there, this is Miss A, and in this video tutorial, I want to teach you uh, how to make this wonderful Christmas uh, angel to hang it on your Christmas tree. Say hello, look at my beautiful doll made out of yarn and with wonderful uh, wings. If you like uh, more craft like that, uh, subscribe for our uh, YouTube channel, Anita Art Classes, and let's have fun! So uh, here are the supplies I will need for my uh, beautiful angel. Uh, two, I choose two light colors, uh, one for the hair, one for the dress. Uh, try to match them and uh, angels, they are light. So my recommendation is to go with uh, light color. I also have a pair of uh, wings. You can buy them uh, from uh, everywhere. Uh, you also will need a glue gun to attach uh, the wings and you need a small uh, cardboard uh, to wind the, the yarn and to set up the dress, which I'm going to show you in a moment. Uh, you need a small um, wooded um, a bead. It, uh, this is a uh, size of one eight, uh, inch. And this is my favorite scissor. All right, here is my cardboard, which I'm going to uh, use to wind the yarn um, on a skin. It's uh, with like uh, five and uh, one fourth by four and a half, something like that. About five inches uh, will work. And then I am starting, uh, I need two, um, bundles of uh, wined uh, uh, yarn so I'm gonna do first the white one oops try to do not make it too tight all right about that uh, take uh, bundle it's uh, okay so I'm going to stop and cut my white yarn now I'm going to do the same with the pink yarn I'm going to wind it um, to make a small bundle and once again I'm going to use uh, one for a dress one for hair so wind wind uh, yarn since you have a, a good amount roll it on the cardboard and then cut here is uh, one of my models um, which I'm going to use now so how you can see for the arms and for the legs I use it braided um, three strings from uh, the same yarn however uh, today for uh, faster I'm going to use a ready thick string so this is uh, two options uh, which you can uh, uh, use for hands and uh, legs. Okay, for the hands, I am going to use my hands uh, from this dough. Um, they are like six, uh, three inches. I am going to go a little bit longer because I want to make a little tie uh, at, at the edge uh, for my hands. So I'll go with eight inches. That's, uh, of course, a little bit uh, too much, but it's better to have more uh, than less. So this string will be my hands and a little bit longer. I'm not going to measure, but a little bit longer. So you can see with inch and half and inch and half on the other side, it's longer than my first one. So this is something which I'm going to use for my uh, legs. Now I'm going to put them on the side. I don't need the ruler anymore, but I need a little string so I can tie um, all my uh, rows of uh, yarn. So now I need to decide which one I'm going to use uh, for hair and for um, uh, for the dress. I am thinking to use uh, the pink for the hair. And what I'm going to do is um, go in the middle here and make a tight. Remember, this is, is 
our hair all right so i am tying this in the middle that's very important to notice that this is in the middle because now you need to go on the other side and exactly in the middle um to give a haircut because this is his hair all right and see now it's cut it in the middle and look great even if it's not don't worry about it uh, after that you can uh, give additional uh, haircut to your um, dough um, and here are my two original strings which now i'm going to use um, to tie it in my wooded bead all right so now my uh, strings which i use it uh, to tie this uh, bundle of yarn i need to uh, string them into uh, this bead hold and this how you can see it's not uh, easy because the yarn is soft so i'm going to use um crochet needle to kind of pushing in and see if I can catch it from this side. There we go. It was working. So I have one more. And I'm going to push, push in and try to catch it on the other side. There we go. And here is my uh, face and my hair. Look. Oh, wow. I have very pretty girl already. Um, okay, so this uh, long string, I'm going to use it to tie my dress. You can return uh, the bundle of yarn um, in the original position, which is like that. And now let's tie it uh, for this uh, body part, which will be the body of uh, my doll. Once again, go in the middle and tie it if you need help ask for help there we go now go on the other side and cut in the middle this is very important to remember so you can have um, nice cut it, uh, pieces oops but i forgot something very important i, I forgot to attach my uh, hands so i'm going to try to tie them here all right so put the hands and put the the legs and tie them all right and now let's try to get them somewhere in the middle it's not in the middle so let's see i'm putting some yarn here are my hands all right my hands are here i'm getting the other one all right good i got the hands okay here are my legs now i'm putting a little yarn on the top and now i need another uh, pink string actually i can use uh, the leftover or you can cut a separate string and tie it here as as a belt all right and see now i'm going to put my finger here so i can have a tiny little loop and tie it up so now i have a skirt i have hair i have hands and i need to shape somehow uh my beautiful a doll and how you can see my um yarn it's kind of not even so i'm going to hold the um legs and give a nice haircut so i can make this even 
let's see i'm putting my legs back and i need a little from here oh beautiful beautiful my hands are here my hair and i need to uh draw a face clean up before to continue all right uh, my glue gun it's ready so i need to uh, glue gun a few stuff so before that uh, i want you to um, recommend something uh, here i make a little tie so my hand uh, will have more like a hand futures and i'm going to do the same on the other side um, but try to keep the the tie close to the edge of the um of the string all right and see hello uh and i'm going to do the same see what i'm doing a loop the string is going on the back and i'm pulling the string and at the same time i'm pushing this tie to stay close to the edge of my string all right the same on the other side so i'm making a loop do you see then the string is going behind and i'm pushing with my finger through the loop and i'm pulling and at the same time i'm pushing my tie to go close to the edge and i have a feed futures all right now it's time to glue gun um, the wings and a little bit from the hair because now it's uh, going everywhere and I want to keep it a little bit organized. So what I'm going to do is remove the uh, hair and see around the hold I'm going to put um, a little uh, glue. And then try to hold it for a moment. All right. okay now it's time to add the wings again i need to remove the hair uh, back and here i'm going to attach my wings i'll fold them a little and i will hold them for a moment and then i am going to return the hair on the top Actually, I need to think about how I'm going to organize it. Mm -hmm. Here's my hands, her beautiful dress, the wings are here. So I'm going to have a little going in front, another little uh, bundle of um, yarn here. And they, then maybe the rest I'm going to tie it up with, uh, with string. I'll think about it, what I'm going to do. But now I want to draw the face. So I'm going to use Sharpie. And I'm going to draw the eyes. So I'm going to do two curves to do the eyelids. And then draw dots. Try to make your doll to look at one direction. If you need a lesson how to draw eyes, I have a video tutorial, so you can search our um, YouTube channel. I am going to do now eye brushes. And one more. All right, beautiful. And now it's time for the mouth. Uh, make sure you always have a few basic colors um, 
handy uh, of Sharpie, like red, blue, uh, black. You always will need them. And a smile. There we go. I have such a beautiful face. Now I need to uh, take care for the hair. All right, now I need to organize a little bit the hair of my uh, doll. If you like it like that, you can leave it, but uh, I prefer to style it a little bit. So here I am going to take one of the top bundles and kind of twist it and move it on the back and see. I still have a few strings going down. And then on the other side, I'm going to do the same. Uh, get the top bundle, leave a few uh, strings from the bottom, and then twist it and go on the back. All right, let's see what's going on on the back. Now I have two bundles. One is coming from uh, one of the sides, the other one is coming from the other. And here you can tie with ribbon or continue uh, braiding. Um, the hair of your uh, doll, which I'm going to do. All right. Braiding, braiding, braiding. Oops, I'm going a little bit back. And I'll do this part. And you can use a uh, string from the same yarn. If you have a cool uh, little elastic, you can use it. Um, and uh, I am going to uh, tie uh, this bundle and I am going to use um, white string from the white yarn. All right, now I need to tie it a few times around the hair. going to tie it and make a small bow and here it's kind of popping up so I'm going to push it in and let's see oh well wow I have very well organized uh, hair beautiful and now I need to give a haircut 